Today I'm going to talk you through my foundation routine favorites. I do have a makeup tutorial on this, but today I want to focus on the actual products, who I'd recommend them for, and why I like them. So let's get started. So we're going to start off with the Flormar Illuminating Primer. If you have been on my channel for a long time, you'll know that this is the only primer that I use. What I really like about this is that it is hydrating, illuminating, and it does exactly what I think a primer should do. It gives the makeup something to hold on to, but evens out the skin texture as well. It's also great for no makeup makeup days because it has oil control. So it illuminates the skin, which is going to create that kind of even look, even if you're not wearing makeup over the top of it, but it also controls the oils ever so slightly. So I really like that. It just creates the most perfect base for your makeup. It's not an extreme primer, it's not going to make a dramatic difference, but it makes a good enough difference that your makeup's going to look so gorgeous. And I love the way it feels on the skin. It's completely sheer, but it's illuminating at the same time. Next up, I have the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat High Cover Concealer. Try saying that 10 times fast. It's not going to give you full coverage. It's high coverage compared to the usual Touche Eclat. So it's just slightly different and gives you a little bit more of that pigmentation there. So it's light to medium coverage. It looks like the skin. That's what I really like about it. It still looks like the skin, even though you're brightening it and you're giving extra coverage. And it still has that nice, easy application that you get with the original Touche Gla, but with just a little bit more coverage. I recommend this for normal to dry combination skin, which is basically what I have. I love how brightening it is while also adding some coverage. And you can also build this up as well. Next up, I have my foundation, which is the Healthy Mix. I have been using this since 2010-ish, I think. One of my favorite foundations, and I find myself going back to it time and time again because it's got a beautiful yellow tone to it, which is one of my favorite things about this entire brand. All of their foundations pretty much have like a slightly yellow neutral tone, which works great for me. And it's also got that light medium coverage, but feeling really fresh and not over the top. It works on every age group, from the young to the old. And it also goes on really easily. It's a great one for beginners and I always recommend it to beginners because it's not too thick, it's not too sheer, it's just really easy to glide over the skin. Regardless of whether you have a lot of skills when you're applying your foundation or you don't, this one's a nice easy one to apply. You can use it with so many different things from a sponge to a brush to your fingertips. It's a really foolproof type of foundation. Highly recommended. Next up, we have my secret weapon. This is the L'Oreal True Match Mineral. Oh my goodness. The amount of times I get messages from people saying, I finally tried this and yes, it is incredible. I'm like, yes, thank you. It is so, so, so good. So basically what I do with this is I apply a very sheer amount of the Healthy Mix and then I apply the True Match over the top. Basically what the True Match does is it creates a gorgeous, beautiful finish. It's going to set your makeup while adding some coverage and it's a sheer to full coverage. You can use this by itself or you can apply it over the top of a liquid for maximum coverage. It looks like you have nothing on your skin because it sets everything in place, but it's not too mattifying. It's extremely long wear. If you find that your makeup disappears on your nose, particularly like in the winter or the summer, you will not have a problem with this. This locks that baby in there and it's gonna keep your skin looking flawless like all day long, but it just goes on so beautifully. It's really easy and I highly recommend it for pretty much everybody. There's not many people that I would find would have a problem with this provided you apply it correctly. And I've used it on lots and lots of different people and they love it. So those are my foundation favorites. I definitely love to hear from you guys. What do you like using? What should I try using next time? Is there anything in particular that you really, really love or really, really hate? Are love to hear from you guys hit that subscribe button hit that like button check out the other videos on the screen and i will see you in the next one